Genesis 14. Lot's Captivity and Rescue And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel king of Shinar, Arioch king of Elisar, Chedorlaomer king of Elam, and Tidal king of nations, that they made war with Bera king of Sodom, Bersha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Adma, Shemeba king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoah. All these joined together in the valley of Sidim, that is, the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Shedor Lama, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedor Lama and the kings that were with him came and attacked the Rephim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Emim in Shave Kiriataim, and the Horites in their mountain of Seir, as far as El Paran, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, that is, Kadesh and attacked all the country of the Amalekites and also the Amorites who dwelt in Hazes on Tamar. And the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim, against Chedorlaomer king of Elam, Tidal king of nations, Amraphel king of Shinar, and Arioch king of Elisar, four kings against five. What? Now the valley of Sidim was full of asphalt pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Some fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eshcol and brother of Anna and they were allies with Abram. Now when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Hobah, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Shava, that is, the king's valley, after his return from the defeat of Chedor Lama and the kings who were with him, Abram and Melchizedek. Then Melchizedek king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, and he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord God Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich, except only what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Anna, Eshkol, and Mamre, let them take their portion.